Hello Gerald, this is Alim from Javelin. Thank you very much for uh, this challenge. Uh, Mark gave you a very nice solution that's going to work in any version of SOLIDWORKS. I'll just gonna, I'm just going to show you what are the advantages if you, if you use SOLIDWORKS 2013. Let me just change the color for this component to get a little bit more contrast. And the first thing I notice is that you have a gap between the parts, so really asking for uh, the cavity between them uh, is not going to work if you don't do some changes. And uh, I'm not going to change your parts, I'm just going to make a copy of this one. So let's insert a brand new part at the assembly level. Just going to click on the empty area, so the origin of the new part is going to be the same as the origin of the assembly. Let's call this uh, last part that I just created cavity. And let's edit it in its own window. Just want to make a copy of this uh, of the body of this part into this new part, so I'm just going to go to insert the join command. So the solid body of that part is now inside the cavity. Remember that we need to close that gap, and uh, you you can do that using surfacing uh, commands, but in this case I'm just going to use the move face command. So let me select all these faces that need to be extended. These guys and this guy and this guy. So all these little faces I just want to move them closer to the other part. The direction I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go normal to one of these uh, tabs. And let's go about uh, 4 millimeters. I can also try to use the offset command but as you can see it doesn't give me a preview so I'm just gonna go translate in uh, in this direction and click OK uh, so what I did was uh, moving all these faces up by by 4 millimeters so let's go back to the assembly and uh, as you can see right now this is biting through my uh, yellow part I'm gonna edit it one more time and I'm gonna insert this body into this body using again the join command sorry this body into this component <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna open it one more time and you can see the the two bodies have fused together. Uh, let's uh, run the intersect command. For that you need one more thing. I'm gonna pick up one of the planes. So you know you can use surfaces, planes and solid bodies. I'm gonna hit intersect. Waiting for a preview. I'm still waiting for a preview. Okay, and the one I want to remove is going to be this guy and this guy. Now, notice there are a lot of other little bodies in there, uh, so there might still be some uh, imp uh, areas that uh, are going to need so our attention later on, or especially your attention. Just going to click OK. I'm going to ask SolidWorks pretty much to merge whatever it can into one big body, and whatever it cannot is going to be separate little bodies that we're just gonna get rid of and you can see the result I have six little bodies and I'm just gonna hide the main one and you can see the rest are really really small just gonna get rid of them and show the original which is really the cavity let's go back in here and show the other two components and let's do a section maybe going this way and as you can see looks like we we got it we got it right so we got the cavity right thank you thanks again for this challenge very nice